Welcome students, let me discuss to you roots of polynomial equations and the rational root theorem. When you speak of roots of polynomial equations, some books or some speakers mention it as the zeros or solutions. These are actually the values of x. And if we try to graph the curve of a polynomial function, these are the points in x-axis where the curve passes through. Okay, so for now, let's find the roots of the following polynomial equations. First up, x plus 3, x plus 5, 2, x minus 1 is equal to 0. As you can see, all of these are written in factored form. Okay, mas madaling makuha ang roots kapag na factored form na. Let's see why. We apply zero product property here. Pwede natin paghiwahiwalayin ang bawat factors, factors and ex equate each one to zero. And of course, let us solve for x, just like this. So x plus 3 is equal to 0, so x is equal to, transpose that, it will be negative 3. On the other one, transpose 5, that would be negative 5. And on this one, we have 2x minus 1, 2x is equal to passive 1. We divide both sides by 2, therefore x is equal to 1 half. So the roots are the values of x. So these are negative 3, negative 5, and positive 1 half. For the next examples, pwede na tayo hindi magpaita ng solution kasi may ita na tayong pattern. So roots are, for x plus 2, the root there is negative 2. And for the other one, x plus 1, that is negative 1. And we have here negative 2 thirds. Positive 2, so that's negative 2, yung coefficient na x naging denominator na sa 2 thirds. Okay, for the third example, we have x. So, the first root is 0. Okay, kasi x is equal to 0. So, x plus 4, we have negative 4. x minus 3, we have positive 3. But we have a square here on top of the factor. So, we can say that this is 3 multiplicity of 2. Ibig sabihin, dalawang beses naging factor ng ating polynomial ang x minus 3. And for the last root, we have x minus 1, so that's positive 1, with the multiplicity of 3. Okay, that's all about roots of polynomial equation if it is written in standard form. Oh, sorry, in factored form. Now, let's move on to number 4 x cubed plus 4x squared plus x minus 6 is equal to 0. So this is written in standard form. So to find the roots, we have to find the factors. And to find the factors, let us use the rational root theorem. Ang sinasabi ng rational root theorem, possible roots of a given function, of a given polynomial, ay nandoon sa constant at doon sa leading numerical coefficient. That's p over q. We have to get our constant and our coefficient, numerical coefficient, and get the factors. So factors na negative 6i, positive negative 1, positive negative 2, positive negative 3, and positive and negative 6. For the denominator na 1, since 1 lang naman siya, wala tayong problema. Ibig sabihin, lahat ng possible factor natin ay whole number. Okay. Otherwise, magkakaroon tayo ng fraction. Okay, so, gagamit tayo ngayon ng synthetic division. So, tingnan muna natin ang ating mga variables, ang ating mga exponents. 3, 2, 1, and then constant. So, perfect, kompleto, walang nawawala, at nasa standard form na talaga siya. So, kunin natin ating mga numerical coefficients. 1, 4, 1, negative 6. 1, 4, 1, negative 6. Okay? And then, let us choose among these factors alin na gagamitin natin. So, let's try negative 1 first. Okay? Gamit tayo ng bring down, multiply, and add. Bring down 1, multiply 1 to negative 1, that is negative 1. 4 plus negative 1 is 3. 3 times negative 1 is negative 3. This is negative 2 
multiply that's positive 2 and this is negative 4. Okay, using synthetic division, our remainder is negative 4. Hindi siya naging 0. So, ibig sabihin, this is not a factor. Okay, so this is not a root. Okay, at yung katumbas niya ay hindi magiging factor. So, hanap tayo ng iba pa. Let's try passive 1 this time. Copy and natin ang ating mga coefficients. We have 1, 4, 1, negative 6, yun pa yung kanina. And apply tayo ng BMA for synthetic division. So, this is bring down 1. 1 times 1 is 1. 4 plus 1 is 5. 5 times 1 is 5. 1 plus 5 is 6. 6 times 1 is, is positive 6. And negative 6 plus 6 is 0. Finally, we have our 0 as remainder. Therefore, we just prove that 1 is a root. So, meron na tayong isang root. So, 1. Kung ang 1 ay root natin, syempre ang factors niyan ay magiging x minus 1. Bakit? As you can see, kanina meron tayong x plus 4, ang root niya negative 4. So, ganun din kapag ka negative 4 ang root, x plus 4 ang factor. So, dito meron tayong root na 1, so ang factor natin ay x minus 1. I hope you see the pattern there. Now, going back to our synthetic division, we have our depressed equation, 1, 5, 6 na ang ating coefficients. So, from cubic, magiging quadratic na siya, x squared plus 5x plus 6 equal to 0. Pwede nang wala yung 1. Now, since quadratic na siya, pwede na tayong gumamit ng factoring. Okay? Sa factoring, hahanap tayo ng factors ng x squared. That's x and x. Factors ng 6 na pag in ko, maging 5. Those are 3 times 2, that's 6. 3 plus 2, that's 5. So, pasok, 6 and 5. So, kunin natin para ang positive. So, plus 3 plus 2. So, these are the remaining two factors. So, pwede natin isulat. x plus 3, x plus 2. This is the factored form. And the roots are positive 1 negative 3, and negative 2. So there you have it. We, have, we found the roots and the factors from the standard form of a polynomial equation using the rational root theorem and of course, the synthetic division. Hope you understand or you learned something from the video. See you in the next upcoming videos. Thank you.